Good morning, guys, and welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I am getting ready to show you a pork roast, tenderloin roast that I did. Um, and I did it on the spur of the moment. Uh, it was a new recipe, and I wasn't sure I was going to video it. In fact, I had no plans of videoing it. And you can tell by the appearance when I come up and show you, you can tell I had not planned <laughs> sharing the video uh, but after I just barely got started on it I turned on the camera so excuse my appearance you can tell I clean up a little bit <laughs> uh, I was looking quite rough but um, this pork roast um, was a new recipe it turned out great and I will be doing it again so I hope you enjoy the first time I'm doing this pork tenderloin I wasn't gonna video it because I don't like to video things the first time I do them but then I thought why not and unfortunately whoops I'm splattering everywhere unfortunately because I was originally not going to video it I got started a little early so let me tell you what I've done in my dish right here, I have about a cup of soy sauce, about a cup of molasses, I have uh, the minced garlic that's in the jar, I have about, I, I stuck this spoon in about two times and got about two um, big spoonfuls of garlic. I have put in about a fourth of a cup of olive oil. Let's see, what else have I done? Garlic, soy sauce, milk. oh, and some lemon juice. I put some lemon juice in here. Now, this recipe that I'm looking at calls for um, fresh ginger, and I don't, that's something I don't have. So, what I'm going to do is I do have some ground ginger. And I'm just continuing to stir this, get this all mixed up. I do have some ground ginger, so I'm going to put a few dashes of ground ginger in here. All right. Now, it would be ideal for this to... For me to have done this last night and it soak overnight or at least early this morning and for it to soak early this morning but i wasn't that diligent <laughs> today's been kind of a hectic day and in fact i'm gonna have to fix to leave again so i wanted to get this in to soak before i had to leave we're gonna have so we're gonna have pork tenderloin we're gonna have uh, potatoes and peppers and onions and uh, pintos and cabbage. And I'm assuming we'll do cornbread. I hadn't even thought about bread, but more than likely it'll be cornbread. Usually with pintos and cabbage, I do cornbread. It's the way I roll around here. So I'm putting that um, pork tenderloin in. I'm leaving the fat line on it. You see right here, it's got this fat um, line. I'm going to leave that on. And I'm, I'm putting it in a bowl in case this bag was to spring a leak. There we go. I didn't salt and pepper it or anything. We'll, we'll take care of that when we... Uh, get it in to cook. So I'm just going to set this aside, 
squish out any air. Because if you've got air in your bag, that's less space for your marinade to uh, occupy. So, it's always good to get as much air out as you can. So, it is completely submerged. So, I'm just going to let this sit right in this bowl. It was frozen this morning, so it has thawed. So, I'm just going to leave it out because I want it at room temperature. I think it soaks in the flavors better when it's at room temperature. It doesn't seal up. And um, so we're just going to let it sit. I'll bring you back when it comes time to bake it. Okay, guys, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. I always look and make sure I haven't stuck a pan or something in there. And I have. <laughs> Got a baking pan in there. So I get it out. Preheat the oven to 350. I'm going to take my pork loin. It's sticky. Turn y'all down here where you can see. And I'm going to slide it in this pan. Um, actually, I tell you what, I'm going to get a fork. Put that fat part up on top and I'm going to pour about half of this marinade in there all right now I'm going to cover it my recipe doesn't say to cover it but I'm going to cover it I'm going to set this aside just in case I were to need a little more I'm going to make a sauce that goes with this, but it doesn't have the marinade with it, so it's going to be a totally separate sauce. So, let me grab some tin foil. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to cover it up, and it's going in the oven in just a little bit. Okay, guys, let's make a little bit of a sauce for our... Um, pork. I don't know if we're going to like this pork or not. We're going to see. It's a new recipe for me. If we don't, you won't see it. But let me show you what I've got going on. I've got about a half of a small onion and some butter over here. And that's where we're starting right now. So we'll let that get to sauteing and I'll bring you back. Okay, let's get back to the sauce that I'm gonna serve on the side. Um, kind of like a gravy a little bit. It's not really a gravy, it's a sauce um, with the pork tenderloin. Um, now you all, if you're familiar with my channel long enough and you've watched my videos, you know that we do not drink alcohol. And even when cooking, I do not buy drinkable alcohol to cook with. So if it calls for red wine, I'm going to just go buy the cooking wine. So we're going to use about a half a cup. I say, that's about it. We're just going to finish this bottle out. Um, red wine. We're going to put this, whoops. About not my pintos off. We're gonna put this back on the stove and let it cook for just a little bit, and I'll bring you back at the next step. Okay, so let's go over where we are on our sauce for our pork loin. Had about a half of a small onion chopped up, pretty small, with about a couple tablespoons of butter. Sauteed those. And I just put in about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more, of um, red cooking wine. And I've let it boil or cook for about three minutes. I'm now going to put in some broth. Beef broth, beef broth would be best. I only had chicken, so that's what I'm using. 
it's a little over, it's about a cup and a half of broth. So we're going to pour this in. And I had cut my burner off, so let me cut it back on. And we're going to let this cook and boil for about five minutes. At which time I'll take about a quarter cup water and a couple tablespoons of cornstarch and um, pour it in and cook it and thicken it up to make a good, nice, uh, silky sauce to go over our pork loin. I just checked the temperature of the pork loin. It's not quite ready yet. I'm getting ready to turn my oven up for the cornbread. Um, I was going to cook cabbage, but um, I don't know that I am. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be turning the oven up a little bit and it's all it was getting close it has to get to at least 160 and I like it a little bit higher than that um, and it was at 150 so we only got 10 degrees to go and it felt very tender um, with the uh, thermometer going in so we're just gonna cook it a little bit longer okay guys so I just got the pork out of the oven there it is we're gonna, I'm gonna keep it covered I'm gonna cover it back over and we're just going to let it rest until time for supper. I have got my cabbage over here. And now we're fixing to finish the salsa, but I don't want to do that until everybody gets here. Okay, guys, I forgot to video me putting the finish, finish I can't talk today, finishing touches to our sauce. But I put in a fourth of a cup of water and a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch and you can see it's thick kind of like a gravy but it's more like it's going to be a sauce and they can use it or they don't have to so we'll leave it up to them so i just put my potatoes in our potatoes and onions that's a side dish i'm doing a video on that but Okay, so there is the pork. I've sliced off a piece on my plate. I'm going to put a little bit of the sauce on it. I'm going to put a little bit of that sauce. And I'm going to taste it. Okay, I'm going to give it just a quick taste. Everybody's getting their food and talking, so I'm just going to give it a quick taste. really good so y'all try this recipe delicious have a great night thank you for watching the farm and pastures life hey everybody there he is how have y'all been she, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. she don't let me on her show much <laughs> i think she's embarrassed of me no i'm not We've done another video on our side dish, which is potatoes and peppers, and I'm fixing to get that a try for you. It's delicious, too. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife, where if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. <laughs> okay, so things were pretty hectic at the end of that video. Everybody was talking. Poor Judah was running his little car motor, his vroom, and um, his vroom vroom. And um, so, yeah, things were pretty hectic. And I didn't get Bryant to taste it for you guys. It was just like, cow gone, take me away. But uh, the pork roast was delicious. Bryant loved it. Isaac was not there, but he came in, and I had a little bit left over, and so he got it out, sliced it up, and he says, Mama, this is so good. Um, the sauce was good, but I don't even think you need the sauce. The sauce was great, um, but we're not really a, a, um, a wine-tasting uh, with in cooking type food there's really only one dish i make with wine and that's my leeks and pasta and we love that uh, but other than that we don't cook a whole whole lot with wine um so and i use the cooking wine so the sauce 
you can take it or leave it. If you like that kind of thing, then fix it. It was good. It was really good. But if not, leave it off. Make it just a regular gravy and it'll be great. And you don't even need gravy. Um, the pork roast was delicious. So y'all got to give this one a try. Uh, in fact, I usually do my pork tenderloins in a crock pot with just some like cream of mushroom and some onions and and my family actually said they like it this way where they can slice it and it be like sandwich type um, meat too as well. Um, when I cook it in the crock pot, it just kind of falls apart. So um, they actually like this better. So new way to make a pork tenderloin roast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. Y'all please subscribe, hit the bell notification Share my videos with your family and friends. We're getting closer to 800. And once we reach 1,000, we'll give a, a multi-giveaway, multi-winner giveaway. So y'all be sure to subscribe, share, like, all the above. And um, invite your family and friends to uh, subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you all so very much. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.